After encountering the withdrawal of publisher Bloomsbury India for her book, Delhi Riots 2020, The Untold Story, advocate Monica Arora has found Garuda publishers to print the book. In conversation with Rajiv Malhotra, advocate Arora said she was unexpectedly notified by a single electronic message that Bloomsbury was terminating the book's contract. Later, Advocate Aurora said the publisher Bloomsbury was under intense international pressure to withdraw the book. She said that even those working at the publishing house feared for their jobs, even their own jobs were not safe, and that they were pressured to make the decision. She noted that many other organizations were also pressured to oppose the book, even while not being aware of the book's contents and not having read the book itself. The Wire Media Group commented on the situation, citing that although advocate Aurora was campaigning for freedom of speech, she was also previously involved in a litigation to have certain parts of a book published by Wendy Doniger omitted. Wendy Doniger is a known Western Indologist, meaning one who, from a westernized perspective, interprets Indian or Hindu life and history. This often has resulted in denigrating Hindu tradition through the lenses of class discrimination and disempowerment of women. In the 19th century, Britishers paid Thomas Macaulay and Max Muller to rewrite and reinterpret Hindu history from being the oldest and most successful living civilization to painting it as backward, corrupt, and doomed to failure. Macaulay and Muller were instrumental in corrupting the traditional Hindu gurukul education which had lasted more than 10,000 years. As many as 1 million gurukuls were destroyed in India between 1830 and 1910. This type of international pressure by media and to limit access that humans have to inner world solutions is nothing new. Even some of the recent popularly celebrated leaders play a dangerous role in decisions and acts that result in millions of deaths. Hundreds of millions today are still suffering. As many as 20 million people attempt suicide each year, and suicide is one of the leading causes of death among young people, a tragic and alarming fact. The world now more than ever needs proven solutions to anxiety, isolation, fear, and unstable societies. Hinduism is the only system with a proven track record of success on all these fronts. This is precisely why it has been targeted for destruction to ensure modern humans don't have unfettered access to real, simple solutions and remain dependent on handouts, direction by media, and misguided public information.